Okay, this is rigging the screecher sail starting at the mast. Uh, you'll use the spinnaker halyard. Um, in this instance, we have a jammer or a stopper worked into the mast here. Uh, if you don't have that, um, you can add it later uh, or, simply, uh, or simply bring it down and cleat off um, by hand will be enough. Uh, what you don't want to do is do a lot of pressure uh, in tightening that uh, halyard on the winch. That's uh, just not really set up for that uh, in terms of the, uh, the luff tension on that. So take it easy um, and that's that. Okay, this is the top of the sail and you can see we've got a simple shackle in there which I'll include in the box uh, a spinning shackle and then a quick release on the end of the halyard there uh, so that's the setup on the top of the sail okay we're looking down at the bowsprit obviously and what you're looking at is the furlex drum the sail is in the down position and what we're looking at here is a guide, a U-bolt, um, or pad eye guide, which is right here, uh, which gives you a good angle for the furling line coming off the drum. Uh, you'll want to load the drum with about uh, 12 to 14 clockwise turns, uh, loaded up with 12 to 14 clockwise turns of the furling line before attaching the sail itself. And I'll make sure to include uh, a couple of extra shackles uh, in the box for you. Uh, probably the toughest part is making sure you don't lose those preloaded wraps on the drum before attaching the sail. So I think you'll get the hang of it. I kind of rest it there on the end of the uh, on the end of the sprit there, and uh, I'm able to attach the sail. Then simply hoist it up. And here we're looking at the sail installed. This is the connection on the bow sprit. Uh, you can see that pad eye is guiding our furling line back. And the furling line can go straight through uh, your staunch and base here and then on back to the cockpit. And what you'll see back here is simply that small four inch cleat uh, that you can go ahead. Uh, access to that is easy. Uh, right through, access to that is easy right through the cockpit. Uh, simply lift the hatch and you'll have access to the underside. It doesn't take a lot of uh, strain, so those washers should be enough. Uh, you're not going to use the sail if it's furled. Uh, and it's a light air sail anyway, so that uh, that cleat should not take too much load. Okay, this is the snatch block on the outrigger. Uh, you can see it attaches to the outrigger pad eye. And uh, that's going to give you a good sheeting angle on that sail. Uh, we'll make sure to include the line and the snatch block uh, along with your shipment. Okay, so this is another view of the Screecher sail installed.